Hey y'all, welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. Joining us now is Juan Montalvo with Liberty Hall Theater on the square in Tyler, and he's here, here to tell us what's coming up at the theater, because the next thing I see it isn't even this weekend, it's on Thursday, and I feel like I should know these guys. Their name's Daly and Vincent, and it's Jamie Daly and Darren Vincent, and these guys have something to the order of eight Emmys between the two and then another exactly. four together. So it's country, bluegrass, a little bit of gospel thrown in there. And Another it's not a mix just, of everything. Right. So this is Thursday, huh? Thursday night. Doors open at six. Show starts right at seven o'clock. All right. So I, I, f I feel like I should know these guys. This is a, a big national act and it's not just these two guys They have a full backing band. They do have a full band. It'd be a great show. I have a few tickets left. It's sold out really quick. It's going to sell out really quick. Uh, so please go to LibertyTyler.com and look for a ticket. I'm surprised there's still seats left because they also are on season five yeah. of their television series. Yeah. So yeah, these guys are uh, kind of a big deal. It's a big, big one for Tyler. Yeah. All right. Uh, next coming up, you have October 21st. We're right into Halloween season and there's a hocus pocus dress up night. Exactly. It's a tradition here in Tyler. It's a two o'clock in the afternoon. Doors open at one o'clock. Bring your family, dress up. It's a fun time. Everybody has a good time. Well, my, my daughters like Hocus Pocus, and I'm surprised because I think the movie might be now bigger now than when it originally came out. I think out. so, too. We do have a lot of people that come for that show every year. It's a family tradition. So what percentage of the people you think dress up at Hocus Pocus night? Is it more than 50%? Oh, it's a lot less, but mostly okay. it's the kids that dress up. Yeah. Well, well, that's good. And hey, if, you, if they're Hocus Pocus for Halloween, get a little extra use out of that costume. Yeah. All right. And Very so the, the next one is the following weekend, actually Halloween weekend, October 27th to 28th. That's a Friday and a Saturday. Y'all are doing the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which if you've never seen it live, it's intended to be a live viewing. So it's a live cast. The movie's playing during the whole time, and then there's just a live cast performance. Again, that's a Tyler tradition. It's been going on for over 11 years, and so we're looking forward to those two nights. Those are late nights. Doors open at 11 p.m., and the show starts right at midnight. Okay, now I saw the movie a long time ago, but I have my little theater friends who've been trying to get me to go to the one of these live ones because there's people that are singing in the theater. You're doing the time warp in the mm -hmm. aisles or whatever. The whole nine yards, you get a script, you get to dance, everybody comes. This show, everybody comes dressed up. And so you're interactive with the actors in the movie. So it's a great time. So two and a half hours goes by really quick. All right, so you're right on the square. None of these are sold out yet. So if you go to libertytyler.com, you can still probably get in on it. Correct. And, and plus, when I was checking the, the, the calendar, if we had more time, I could tell you some of the cool stuff that's coming up in November and December. We have a full, I'll be back to talk about all that, but yes, we have plenty. Yeah, and so this is one of these things that I've had on my, my short list for the nights we do get a babysitter and we can just <laughs> go out as adults sometimes, but I'm glad y'all are roping in so much stuff for the kiddos. Would the kiddos be welcome at the Rocky Horror Picture? 18 and over. Understandable, mm -hmm. understandable. All right, thank you, Juan Montalvo. Again, LibertyTyler.com. It's the old Liberty Theater. It's on the square. Go check it out.